Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know Hello, hello! We did it! We got back on the road! <laughs> it's been too long. It really has. Yeah, um, I kind of regret not going out sooner, actually, because this has been really, really wonderful, but just enjoying every minute of it. So we wanted to shoot a video today on how to place your camper on your site. You pull, you're going to pull up to it, and it's the big question is, where do you drop it? And we have, in the past, when we were learning how to do this, we have, because we have the mover, so we can use the remote control, we've literally just sat and done circles trying to pick the right spot and we've come across some strategies that we are working for us and we thought we'd share them with you and if you have other suggestions please leave a comment below if we've missed anything um, we are at Fall Creek Falls right now and we are pulling up to our site so um, the first thing we do is we just get off the road I realize that is impossible for everyone but we just basically want to get the back up in somewhat close to the utilities, but it doesn't have to be close because we're going to fine tune it once we get on the site. So at this point, I'm going to get out and I'm just going to guide Joe into um, just a general spot where we can look at the site further and tell you how we pick our spot. If I until his tire gets to the edge of the driveway and then I have him make a tight turn into the driveway. And then once he kind of hits that point, he can just kind of let it unroll straight back. So the steering wheel just kind of wind back the way it came. Welcome to Fall Creek Falls. Well, New gimbal. Irma wanted to say oh, hi too. Oh, we're getting Irma in the Hello, shot. baby. <laughs> so we took some levels and just fastened them to the camper with some VHB, some tape. And they work really well. We've had them on there now for, what, two seasons, I think. And they're still holding up nicely. So all we do is just take a look at the level. The center one, you want the bubble like in the middle of there. So we're not front to back. We're off a bubble or like a line and a half. So it's not too bad. We can adjust for that. The other one, maybe let's go around the back. And then this level here is side to side. So that bubble, this bubble here, we wanna have in the middle of that line. So one line to the left, that bubble in the center. So almost exactly one space, exactly one space over. And that's not too bad either. We can do that pretty easily with the Anderson levelers. All right, since we purchased the caravan mover with our trailer, um, when we first started putting this on sites, we were mostly concerned about the view. We thought we're just gonna maneuver this, so it would be perfect. We'll have the best view ever. And I gotta tell you, like we ended up in a lot of tricky spots doing that. And often these sites are just really well designed to just be back in and drop it. So when you turn it, you know, your, your side to side gets really off and it can be very hard to get it right. So we have just come to a point where we just enjoy the view, whatever it is. And if it were really like, this is pretty everywhere. If it were a lake or something, maybe I'd get a little picky. And or a waterfall. A waterfall? Okay, definitely a waterfall. <laughs> that would that would do it. There's no sites here that you can see the waterfalls from that I'm aware of. <laughs> also, if you pull into a site that's flat, do whatever you want. Spin it, turn it, whatever you want. Yeah. But when it's out of level, and this one actually is a very steep site, I have no desire to shift the trailer side to side. The other thing when you're backing up, you want to make sure that, obviously you don't hit anything, make sure that there's no trees or anything else around. We don't have to worry too much above because we're not very high, but that's also a consideration. If you have slide outs, you're gonna to wanna to be aware of if there's trees or obstructions for the slide outs. 
Again, that's not our concern because our little camper has one slide up. <laughs> Alto humor. Uh -uh. Uh, maybe not. So, um, you want to make sure if you are sewer hookups, we don't have sewer hookups on this site, but if you have sewer hookups, you want to be close to that. We've got our power here and we'll hook up to here with our cord. We've got uh, water right there. So, I think we're in good shape. When we put our, pick our spot for the trailer, it's nice to have it so that when you exit the trailer, you exit onto paved ground because if it's dirt, it's just messier. And sometimes it's muddy if you have rain. We do have an outdoor rug that we put down, but it's just cleaner if it's paved. So it's always nice to have it, your exit be on paved if you can. When you go to take it off of your vehicle, the first thing you're gonna do is level it side to side. So don't even worry about front to back. We're just gonna get it side to side level. We use an Anderson leveler, which is just like a C-shaped piece of plastic and it, you just roll up onto it as high as you need to go to make it level. One thing to consider when you pick your spot on the site is that usually the, just like a road, the paved um, area for you to camp on is usually sloped a bit to the outsides. So we tend to stay, you know, off the edges because you will end up needing more leveling if you get near the edges of the outside of the pad. With the leveler under there, I'm gonna go around to the front of the vehicle so I can see when it hits level as he's going on to the leveler. Trust in our wings to fly. Sometimes we're crashing down. Okay. But we get up and start from the ground. So with our mover came these wheels for the tongue. And this season, we've kind of decided we're not using our mover as much. We had some troubles with it. Uh, those troubles are fixed and we could use it, but kind of decided to limit the amount of use. That being said, I still use these wheels every time because it allows us more height to be able to maneuver to get level front to back. And that's uh, very useful. The other thing that the wheels are really good for is if you are on a level site or if you're in your garage with a light trailer, you can maneuver the trailer around easily without having movers on it and make small minor adjustments to get the right view or in and out of places. By hand. Just by hand. Push it yeah. around. Yeah, you just grab the trailer and I usually just do it with the bike rack or this or just push a corner of the trailer and just move it around and it's it's light enough that it'll move pretty easily. Yeah. All right, let's decide front to back, level. Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But Perfect. we get up and start from and the And that's ground. it! We did it! Fall Creek Falls is so beautiful. If you get the opportunity to come to Tennessee, I think this is one of the biggest, most visited parks and we can see why. Um, the waterfalls are the biggest waterfalls east of the Mississippi River. They are incredible. They really are. And there was a lot of rain this last week, so the amount of water that's coming over them is probably more than normal. But I would imagine during the summer, it's not quite what it is today. But oh my gosh, it's beautiful. It really is. Also, if we're on site B70, and uh, it's very steep. So uh, two axles, I can't imagine leveling this thing. With R1, it's no problem. But... I wouldn't pick this one for an easy leveling situation. Yeah, I don't know what it's like for a big rig. I mean, if you're driving a fifth wheel or like a 30 foot rig and you're having to deal with inclines like this, comment below to tell us what you do to level things out or what's necessary because the only thing we know is a trailer that's 17 feet and has a single axle. So I don't know if the big rigs have auto leveling opportunities. I imagine some do, but and how could much be more can challenging, level? I would think. This, is, this would need a lot of leveling with two axles. Yeah, and this is pretty easy for us. It really yeah. is. We've only found a couple of times where leveling was like near impossible at any kind of state campground. So the, the state campgrounds or anywhere where it's paved is pretty easy to get it level. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I hope it helps, guys. Yeah, cool. Thanks so much for watching. We're Life More Light. I'm Joe. This is Sherry. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. Thanks for watching. Wow. Towns. Towns. Um.
Joe found a really weird tree and I thought I would send you a video of it to show you. So we think a beaver ate this tree. So you might have to look at what a beaver is, but they use their teeth and they eat the tree like this. Towns, towns. I hope you can hear me. I'm kind of in a cave here and I am under a waterfall. Look at right here, it's coming right down. And over there, there's an, oops, over there, there's another big one. Look at that. Wow. Can you believe it? I'm under a waterfall. 